Okay, menaces, time for a day off school. Got the stink stench, Curly? She ick. Essence of cabbage, cauliflower, bees nappies, rotten fish, and ben juice. <laughs> Let's wear this on ourselves, and nobody will want us in their classroom. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> Dennis! Oops. Ooh. Finish cleaning Mr. Detester's car. I even cleaned the inside. The inside? Oh, 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 what What's going on, Curly? Let's take a kid to work day. I'm going to a games factory. Avatar analyst. And I'm going to the mayor's office for the day. The mayor's office? You want to be mayor? Not me, Paul. He wants to go into politics. He'll be president one day. And I'll be his official pie taster. Headmaster's assistant, yes! <laughs> A whole extra day in school. <laughs> Beano Town Police Department? Me? Daddy! Jet pilot. Sorry, Angel Face, but uh, uh, ooh, under the circumstances, we thought you might suit something a little more outdoors. Uh, how about postal officer? What? Good morning, Mr. Postman Girl. Lovely day, isn't it? It. What is that smell? <sighs> What's wrong with you? Oh, just a deadly Amazonian virus. I couldn't possibly go to work. Cough. Ah, ah, oh, disgusting. <laughs> All better. Enjoy your day. Aha, they've nabbed the little blighter at last. Men, this calls for a celebration. I'll get the ginger nut biscuits. Such a tinkle, you get the fizzy pop. <laughs> Any trouble in Beano Town? A trouble-free day is a good day for a police officer, Dennis. This is so boring. Right, Nasha? <laughs> what? Huh? What? No, Dennis, no. There's no dogs allowed here. But Nasha's my police dog, Sergeant. Nasha, Nasha! Calling Sergeant Slipper. We have a situation in Beano Town Park. Roger, on my way. My name's not Roger. Out. Okay, not Roger, out. We're on our ways. Yes! Start the siren! Woohoo! Lesson one. We don't use the noise light unless it's an emergency. <laughs> hold on, wait, wait for me. Where's my badge? Constable Menace and Police Dog Nasha. Nasha! What's the situation? Sorry, take a kid to work day. I got Dennis. <laughs> work! Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right, you strange hooded figure, put your hands up! <laughs> it's just a garden gnome. It's not even stuck on properly. Amateur. <laughs> Hold on, this is Mum's gnome. How'd it get here? Hmm. Because you put it here, most likely. Right. Let me just get my pencil out and my pad. OK, where were you in the early hours of the morning, Dennis? No, hang on. No, this wasn't me. I have used my own special formula menace glue. Hmm. It's clear we're dealing with a master prankster. What? It's just gnoming. Gnoming? Yeah, taking gnomes and putting them in funny places. I was doing that before I could walk. Uh... Hey, I always put them back. Urgent call from the mayor's office. Report of a gnome theft. <sighs> On our way! Hey, I was going to say that. <laughs> yes, Mr. Mayor, sir, Mayor. That gnome is a scrimp family heirloom. I must get him back. <laughs> hey, pie face. How's your job going? <laughs> oh, God, it's a lot of work, but... I'm getting through it. Here he is. Oh, that's just Paul. Hey, that's enough of your naughty tricks, mister. No way for a president to behave. Huh? Slipper, why haven't you arrested anyone yet? I have a suspect under surveillance right now. Huh? 
That's not good enough, Slipper. What you need is someone who can get into the mind of a master prankster, who, who can anticipate their every move and keep us one step ahead so that we can catch him. Yes, but who? Who, I say? Whom? Huh? Huh? Huh. Oh, right. I'll need my crack team. But may a scrimp. Dennis can't be trusted. He and his friends are probably responsible. Exactly. And if he didn't do it, he better find out who did. And if he doesn't find out who did it, then he'll get the blame for doing it. Nash. Calling all units. Calling all units. Come in. Reports of gnomes all over Beetle Town. Let's go. Let's go. Dennis, stop stealing my lines. Hey, are you crossing or not? Gosh. <laughs> Ah, Walter, why don't I show you how to use the PA system? No, oh, gnomes, we're being attacked. <laughs> okay, Sergeant, let's take a look at the evidence. Right, we've sent soil samples to the lab to trace where the gnomes have come from. It'll take up to three weeks. Nah, we've got our own lab, the Abyssinian Tripound Lab. <laughs> Do these gnomes match all the missing gnome reports, Curly? Well, it appears so. Dennis's house. Mayor Scrimp? Ah! Uh, oh! Mrs. Miggins, Mrs. Creature, Auntie Beryl. Can you verify that police dog, Nasher? Nasher! The whole town's been gnomed. Everyone except the Colonel. But he's got the largest collection of garden gnomes in town. Exactly. Time to pay him a little visit. Yes, I heard the reports on my electric radio. So I ordered my men into the bunker until reinforcements arrived. Seen anyone suspicious lurking around, Colonel? Well, only that hoodlum next door. Wait, that's you. Sergeant, arrest this blatherskite. Oh, sorry, Colonel. The blatherskite's with me. Special constables. So, Colonel, we're going to need two of your most able gnomes. Official police business. Oh, right, yes, of course. Ha! Corporal <laughs> 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 Tinkle and Lieutenant Sprout reporting for duty. Do me proud, man. We've got a tracking device on this gnome. <laughs> and Nasha will be able to follow this one. Nasha! <laughs> Time for Operation Oh Gnome You Don't! Right, everyone, the bait is planted. Stay quiet and still, and the gnome napper will walk straight into our trap. <laughs> Who's the bangers in here? Ah, what are you doing, Colonel? We're off surveillance. Hmm. A medal for supplying rations to a covert operation. <sighs> the gnomes are on the move. <gasps> They've gone to the wheels. <laughs> Where to, Curly? near Mrs. Megan's house. We're about to go fast. Buckle up. And now we saw the road like ground eagles. Follow those girls! <laughs> Second gear. Third. Yeah, we're cooking. Oh, uh, is there a cereal bar in the back? It stopped right here. Uh, 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 where are the gnomes? <laughs> Well, there's Sprout. Well, where's Tinkle? Oh, poo. What's that smell? It's like cabbage, cauliflower... These nappies? Rotten fish. And bin juice. <gasps> Angel face! <laughs> well, if it isn't Constable Menace. It was you! Pretty impressive prank, Angel Face. But you're no match for a genius in a striped jumper. You're right, Dennis. You are the master prankster, not me. Ah, uh, Angel Face? You? It can't be! That's right, Sergeant. I did it. I'm flabbergasted. Uh, yes, right then. But it wasn't my fault. It was Dennis. He made me do it. Dennis! Right. Come with me. Nash? I knew it was you all along. I've got a nose for these things, you know. Well, you and your nose are going to have to catch me first. Oh, I suppose. 
suppose you think this is funny. Oh, don't be mad, Walter. Your little plant people look much better now. Their haircuts were boring. You're just jealous because the crest you've grown doesn't look anywhere near this good. What? Why would we be growing cress? Well, what did you do with those seeds Creature gave you last week? <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely day. <laughs> Well, as this crest growing assignment is homework, due tomorrow, you menaces can all expect attention. Nah, we eat detention like he eats pies. Sometimes I eat pies in detention. Oh, so detention this weekend won't bother you then? <laughs> the weekend of the Beano Town Comic Convention? With a once in a lifetime appearance by the creators of Vampire Chicken Squad? <laughs> Bye-bye. Huh? Dennis, what are we going to do? Vampire Chicken Squad is my favourite comic. I mean, chickens who are vampires. And they have a squad. I mean, it's the best idea ever. Paul was going to get all his issues autographed. We can't miss this convention. We have to talk to someone who knows about growing plants. And fast... <laughs> Who's daddy's little darling then? <laughs> so, cress, you say? Huh, I do have cress seeds, of course, but I usually prefer my flora a little more exotic, like this Venus flytrap here. <laughs> How about I give you seeds for both? The principles are the same. To maximize growth, you need a hothouse, like this. Also, I recommend talking to your plants. The little beauties respond favourably to a good chat. Uh -huh. Last but not least, you'll need some fully organic plant food. Thanks to my secret formula, Gwendolyn here reached this height in only two years. Two years? We need to make the crest grow much, much faster. Time to rev up the Colonel's formula with some extra extreme growth spurt ingredients. Self-raising flour, jumping beans, raspberry rocket, coffee... Ow! What's ow? This pie is too hot to eat. Hmm? And, uh, more raspberry rocket. <laughs> if this concoction isn't rocket fuel for plant growth, I don't know what is. Right, seeds. <laughs> Where are the seeds? Ah. Uh-oh, Dennis! The heat from the pie has fused the crest seeds and the Venus flytrap seeds together. Weird. Oh, well, let's plant them anyway. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I think this pie has passed its best before date. <laughs> If comics have taught us anything, and comics have taught us most things, a dodgy pie is the perfect ingredient for many up super science. <laughs> to the hot Curly, we can't miss that comic convention. Is our homework done? Fingers and green thumbs crossed. We need this weekend to be detention free. Don't forget your promise to mow the lawn tomorrow, Dennis. No, oh, but tomorrow's the Beano Town Comic Convention. Which can wait until you've mown the lawn. Ah, <sighs> uh, don't worry, Dennis. Hey, Pyfees and I can help you mow it after school. Ah, is it too late to take that back? Was the grass <laughs> this tall yesterday? I don't know. I was too busy spilling our super plant food everywhere to notice. Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's <laughs> <old. laughs> I have to say, your plant's growth has surpassed all expectations. Clearly they've cheated, miss. Yesterday, they said they didn't even have seeds. I don't remember saying that. Do you? No. no. Oh, it doesn't even look like proper cress. Those leaves have teeth. Ah, that 
must be the Venus flytrap jeans. This is what perfect Cress looks like. Who's ever seen Cress that big? Don't you know anything, Walter? This is what big Cress looks like. When they're grown up, Cress heads have actual teeth. Oh, fascinating. See, even a teacher can learn something new at school. Now, don't be jealous, Walter. I'm giving all three of these boys the top mark. <laughs> Sorry, Walter. I know you haven't done this homework, Minis. And the moment I can prove it, that top mark will be mine. And you'll all be on comic convention missing detention. Walter can't prove a thing. Yes! We dodge detention the one weekend when dodging detention matters. Ah! 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 Dennis! The unusually large and bitey crest. It's got larger and bitier. <laughs> there may still be a bit more dodging to do. <laughs> I told you it's not Chris. You don't see Chris this big and eating things. Dennis? Uh, Walter's absolutely right. You, you, you don't see Chris this big and eating things. And that's because... Uh, this is how fully grown Cress carries on. Kids normally grow Cress for a week and then eat it. What most kids don't know is they have to eat it or it'll grow up and eat them. Sorry, miss. Our Cress got this big because we were so eager to do the homework. We planted it too soon. Well, that makes perfect sense. What? No, it doesn't! <coughs> As you can see, the preferred food of the fully grown Cress is pies. <laughs> It must be my pie in the plant food. We've created a Venus pie trap. Miss Creature, as fully grown Cress experts, we can contain this situation, but we will need to leave school early. Fine, whatever you need. Emergency, Brenda. We need every pie you can muster. What now, Dennis? The Colonel said we should talk to our plants. So let's talk. Oi, plants, pies! <laughs> I hope you've got a plan, Dennis. We're running out of pains. What? I only had one or two. Don't worry, Curly. Genius always has a plan. They'll be happy here. Disposing of pies past the sell by day. Dad's best shop assistant ever. Nice one, Dennis. Okay, mutant crest dealt with. All we have to do now is deal with that lawn. Gang, rustle up a mowing device and meet me at my place. <laughs> Where did you get a goat? From the goat convention. There's a goat convention? Yeah, at the convention centre. Today's the last day. Tomorrow's the comic convention. Ah, which we're not going to miss. Let's get mowing! It's a good job we also have national power. Then we can mow it. All this mowing is disturbing my study. Why is it taking so long? Um, we're being thorough. <laughs> thorough? With a chore? Now, why does that strike me as suspicious? No, oh, nothing suspicious going on here, Walter. Just lawn mowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got my eye on you, menaces. <laughs> oh. You. If Walter realises the grass is growing out of control, he'll tell Creature that we didn't do the crest homework properly. Oh, but at this rate, we'll be mowing the lawn all weekend. We'll never get to the comic convention. Hmm. Pie face, where there's a convention, there's a way. So the goat convention's finished then? Uh huh. To make way for the comic convention, which we'll be at. But how do we get rid of all these goats? One problem at a time, Pie Face. One problem at a time. <laughs> Last day of the
the summer holidays. This is going to be the best day ever. <laughs> what are we going to do, Dennis? Yes. A. Break the world decibel record with the din makers. B. Put bubble bath in the swimming pool. Or C. Water bomb Walter with super sticky blackcurrant squash. My magnum opus is finished. What I did in my summer holidays. I devoted my entire summer to writing this essay. Option C. Option D. I mean, what, what you said. Nash, nash, nash. School homework? Nah. Summer holidays are for fun. <laughs> Not you as well. Ah, oh, sorry, Dennis. I've written a daily online blog about my holiday. I've gotten over 100 hits on my site. <laughs> if I write down everything I've done this summer, it'll be a signed confession of all my pranks. <laughs> well, you are the prank master general, Dennis. Yeah, you're Lord Pranky. Dennis, come down now. It's time to do your repair job on the Colonel's bed. <laughs> So it's your last chance to put things right. I'm off fishing. I can't help the Colonel. I I've got homework. Well, you better get moving then. Can't stop be starting nursery today. Oh, how many's that now? That would be number 12. Go right, go go. B, it's the last one on the list. It's this nursery or none at all. But I just want one more day of fun. Then you'll just have to make it fun. Brilliant idea, Mum. <laughs> Reporting for duty. <laughs> Ready to take your punishment, cadet? If I must. <laughs> it's the spirit. Face the firing squad with a smile. Ah, here we are. What's this? New fence. Double strength this time. And I want them all moved over there. Every last post. And I don't mean played on the bugle. Ha ha ha. It's a little military joke. No, uh, never mind. <laughs> yes, my bugling isn't what it used to be. <laughs> <sighs> yes, mate, it's a lovely big pile of sticks. <laughs> Extremely heavy sticks. <laughs> Tank enthusiasts. Jane from Tippington Shed. Russia? How many of these do you reckon you could gnash? Now remember, be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be just fine. Please don't worry about B. It's not B I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take the pace, eh? You'll think twice before you drive a tank into enemy territory again. Good job, Nasha. Now, what about the rest of them? <laughs> Ammunition. Can't leave stuff on the pavement. It's a public health thingy. <clears throat> Keep it moving now. Nice neat pile. Oh, What's what in the... You! Ow! <laughs> you underestimate your adversary, young fellow, me lad. I've got my eye on you, and I'm awarding myself a medal for foiling petty treason. <laughs> oh, time for elevenses, I think. Continue. Post haste. <laughs> no, nothing. Uh, no sense of humor, the young. Mm. Oh. Dash, dash, dash. Roo, roo. Mash is back. <laughs> right, team. Ready to pull? And. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Tinkle, man down, man down!
makes my school homework essay my summer of good deeds. What a thoughtful gesture. Ooh, ooh pink sprinkles. I've been inspired by your military heroism to help others. Pah, help yourself more like. Oh, thank you, Dennis. I will. <coughs> hard work makes you hungry, eh, Dennis? Angel Face, how about you do some hard work and help me with these? <coughs> Well, I'd love to, Dennis, but that wouldn't be helping you learn from your mistakes, would it? Ah, you're a credit to the community. Oh, I've had enough of this. It's time for Plan D and G. Uh, where is G, anyway? Nasha? Nasha? to part 27 of your essay this afternoon. Well, Dennis, where is your homework? <clears throat> My homework? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dennis, where is your homework? Oh, my homework. It's out there. <laughs> Project Dennis. Top of the class. Tension. Oh no. Aha! Those are my missing timbers. Colonel, thank you so much for your donation. <laughs> Donated by the Colonel? But this is an outrage. An outrage that we haven't celebrated our local hero sooner. Angel Face spoke about you so movingly in her What I Did This Summer essay. Is there no end to this girl's kindness? No. No end. In fact, she's helping me fix your fence later. Aren't you, Angel Face? Of course I am, Dennis. Well, in that case, Ted Sun, time to take up my post at that fort. Ha ha ha. Post, you see. Post? No, oh, forget it. Prepare to storm the battlements! Best first day of school ever! <laughs> 